Los Angeles is called the City of Angels, although if you carefully study its history and legends, you can safely call it demonic. This city is not inferior to New York or Chicago. It too has its own mystical places and anomalous zones, where so-called ghost hunters come regularly. All this makes it the perfect source of knowledge and legends. From a weather phenomenon that drives people crazy to a hotel rife with creepy crimes and dangerous guests. But before we get started, subscribe to our channel, give us a like and share this video on social media. Next, we'll tell you about 13 urban legends of Los Angeles that you definitely didn't know about. Let's start with the first legend the disappearance of Eliza Lamb at the Hotel Cecil. This hotel, built in 1927, has since been renamed Stay on Main, and once you know what happened there, you'll understand why. On January 31, 2013, a tourist from Canada named Eliza Lamb stayed at the Cecil Hotel. She went missing that same day and was not found when the hotel was searched. A few weeks later, guests began complaining about low water pressure, leading to Lamb's body being discovered in a water tank. Lamb's death was ruled a suicide, but the truly gruesome detail is the footage of Lamb being captured in the elevator, presumably minutes before her death. The footage shows her talking to someone who isn't there, then pressing all the elevator buttons and running out in a panic. The next legend of Peg Entwistle's ghost is at the Hollywood sign. One of the most famous urban legends in Los Angeles has to do with the famous Hollywood sign. Back in 1932, a theater actress named Peg Entwistle committed suicide by jumping off the letter H on the sign, having failed in her attempt to become a movie star. In her purse was a note that read, I'm afraid, I'm a coward. I apologize for everything. If I had done this a long time ago, it would have saved me a lot of heartache. P.E. Since then, numerous people have reported seeing Entwistle's ghost in the area surrounding the sign. A couple walking their dog saw a woman in 1930s clothing appear and then disappear into the road. A jogger claimed to have seen the same figure accompanied by the smell of gardenias, and a park ranger also reported an apparition. The creepiest part? According to legend, a letter arrived at Entwistle's house a few days after her death. The note was from a Hollywood theater offering her a role in a play of a woman who commits suicide. Next, we'll talk about the Colorado Street Suicide Bridge. If you've ever traveled to Pasadena from Los Angeles, you've probably seen this bridge. The architecture is beautiful, but some claim it holds dark secrets. According to legend, a construction worker fell during the bridge's construction. His body was encased in concrete and was never found. Because of this, many people think the bridge is cursed or haunted by that man's spirit, which has led to many of the suicides and suicide attempts that have occurred there. Legend number 4 about paranormal activity at Gravity Hill in Altadena. There are many stories about what happened on Loma Alta Doctor in Altadena some say a teenage girl and her friends took her parents' car and died in an accident, others say a school bus crashed there, killing everyone on board. But the phenomenon is the same either way. If you drive onto that particular stretch of road and put your car in neutral, your car will supposedly start rolling uphill. This goes against everything you think you know about physics, and legend has it that it's the ghosts of those girls or schoolgirls pushing your car uphill to help you avoid the same fate that befell them. Even creepier, if you put baby powder on the trunk of your car, legend has it that you'll find fingerprints on it after you drive down the hill. The fifth legend of the Griffith Park curse. People say that Griffith Park is haunted by an old curse. The land once belonged to a Spanish soldier, José Vicente Feliz, given to him by a Spanish grant. After his death, the land passed to Maria Ignacia Verdugo, who married one of Feliz's sons, and then passed to her son, Don Antonio Feliz. It is alleged that Don Antonio's friend, Colonel Antonio, tricked Don Antonio Felice into leaving him the land when Felice was on his deathbed. As a result, Felice's teenage niece Petronilla cursed the land, saying, Decay will fall on the face of this earthly paradise, the cattle will no longer be fattened but disgusted in their pastures, the fields will no longer respond to hard labor. Collapsed, the oaks wither and die. The wrath of heaven and the vengeance of hell will fall upon the place. Nevertheless, according to Mike Ebert Griffith Park, a century of history, it is more likely that journalist Horace Bell invented the alleged curse. Nevertheless, some point to the hex when discussing tragedies that have occurred on Earth. These include the suicide of Peg Entwistle, an aspiring actor who jumped to her death from the H. Hollywood sign in 1932, and a fire that swept through the park in 1933 killing 29 people. A sixth legend has to do with the ghosts of deceased celebrities at the Hollywood Roosevelt Hotel. Over the years, guests have received many reports of ghosts at the Hollywood Roosevelt Hotel. 
The most popular is a report of Marilyn Monroe's ghost being seen in a full-length mirror in the villa that used to be Monroe's poolside suite. Other reports include the sounds of trumpet blasts at night, even when there are no musicians in the hotel. These phenomena have been attributed to the ghost of Montgomery Clift, who stayed at the hotel during the filming of From Here to Eternity. Some have even said they heard his ghost speaking his lines in the hallways. In addition to the fears of paranormal activity, the Blossom Ballroom allegedly has a cold spot, a circle about three feet wide that is 10 degrees colder to the touch than the rest of the room. Legend number 7 Mafia Murders at the Comedy Store It may be a comedy club now, but at one time the comedy store was known as Ciro's Restaurant, and it was a major mob gathering place. It was said that infamous mobster Mickey Cohen often dined there and did business there at the same time. Legend has it that the basement of the restaurant was used by the mafia for torture and murder, and to this day there are gun-sized holes in the walls of the staircase that were supposedly used to kill people as they descended the stairs. Even now, guests claim to hear the screams of Cohen's victims, and the comedy store has begun offering tours of its haunted basement. How true do you think these legends are? I look forward to your answers in the comments below this video. The legend of the Dry River curse is number 8, it has to do with one of the city's most famous bodies of water, the Los Angeles River. In the past, this river was a powerful source of water that supplied the city and its residents. However, as a result of environmental changes and human activity, the river dried up, becoming a desert of dry riverbeds and rocky canyons. According to legend, the curse of the dry river arose from the cruelty and exploitation of nature by the townspeople. People were greedy and indifferent to the environment, and their irresponsible attitude towards nature provoked the anger of the higher powers. As a result of this curse, the river cut off its flow and became a sign of punishment. Those who consider themselves incredibly brave dare to walk along the bed of the dry river. However, they have a terrifying ordeal ahead of them. Over the years, witnesses have claimed that while walking along the bed, they hear strange sounds and see shadows coming to life in the desolate landscape. It seems that the spirits of the previous inhabitants of the river do not leave the place and continue to wander through their former territory. The following legend is about satanic cults in Turnbull Canyon. The water tower pictured here was supposedly a meeting place for a satanic cult during the Great Depression. The story goes that there was an orphanage nearby, and the cult adopted children from the orphanage only to perform rituals on them at this very spot. Later, in 1952, a small airplane crashed near this spot, killing all 29 passengers on board. Legend has it that many of the passengers were children, and that it was the spirits of the cult that crashed the plane to bring them more souls. One of the most unusual legends of the One-Eyed Gypsy's haunting. The One-Eyed Gypsy was a bar in downtown Los Angeles that opened back in 1899. Like many old establishments, there were many reports of paranormal activity within its walls. Legend has it that the bar was once a brothel and a girl named Anna Felice worked there, Felice died in 1902, either by suicide or, if rumors are to be believed, a botched abortion. Since then, visitors and bar employees have claimed to have seen a female spirit and felt pushed and pinched. Perhaps Anna's spirit was trying to make them feel the same pain she did. The Queen Mary in Long Beach has a long history of hauntings, which is not surprising when you see how many people died on board. In particular, there is a door near the ship's engine room known as Door 13, which is said to have crushed more than one crew member to death. Their ghosts are said to roam the corridors to this day, and some guests have reported leaking water and lights turning on and off on their own. If you want to see for yourself, the Queen Mary runs its own tours of the most haunted areas of the ship. The next urban legend says that an advanced race known as the Jasher people lived in the catacombs beneath Los Angeles thousands of years ago. Geophysicist George Warren Schufelt began searching for said tunnels and buried lizard treasure in the 1930s, saying he himself learned of the legend from a Hopi Indian chief of the Green Leaf. Schufelt's search was documented by the Los Angeles Times, which reported that Schufelt claimed to have built an X-ray machine that showed him a network of tunnels. Regardless of the machine, Schufelt's search was ultimately a failure, and the supposed catacombs faded into history. However, there are tunnels underneath downtown Los Angeles that were allegedly used during Prohibition as speakeasies and through which alcohol was transported. Well rounding out our list is the legend of the Black Dahlia. In 1947, 22-year-old Elizabeth Short was found dead in Lamert Park. Her body had been cut in half with surgical precision and her face had been slashed from ear to ear. Despite the efforts of local law enforcement at the time and the public's unrelenting fascination with the tragedy, Short's killer was never caught. In addition, the circumstances surrounding her murder became mired in rumors, thanks in part to sensationalized news reports. 
Journalists described Short as having a darker personality, calling her the Black Dahlia. Some reports suggested that she worked as an escort, although there is no evidence to support this claim. Short was also rumored to have been spotted drinking at the aforementioned Cecil Hotel the night before her death. However, these reports have not been confirmed. Numerous people have confessed to being the killers, but none of those confessions have ever been verified. Former LAPD officer Steve Hodel wrote a book, Black Dahlia Avenger, claiming that his father, Dr. George Hodel, killed Short in his elegant home. The house, known as the Soden House, was built by Frank Lloyd Wright's son, Lloyd Wright, in 1926. Although Hodel was once considered a suspect in the case, it has never been proven that he was responsible. The truth about who committed this horrific crime can never be known. Guys, if you liked our video and you haven't subscribed to us yet, then subscribe now and post the video on social media, there will be more to come in the next episodes. See you soon. Bye.